So, um, uh, my name is Zach Pfeffer. I'm the Lenaro Android Platform Lead, and I'm talking to uh, Barrow here. And uh, Barrow is our Android toolchain expert, and the guy who's responsible for making sure that the Android platform can compile with 4.6, 4.7. Used to be 4.5 before, uh, while well, 4.5 was hot, and now yeah, still it's supposed trunk. to work. <laughs> <laughs> and still supposed to work, and and now uh, GCC trunk. Um, this is you know really unique because we're doing the work in Lenaro to make sure that the Android platform can compile on these on these newer GCC tool chains, so that um, and then pushing those patches up to uh, AOSP. So. Anyway, I just wanted to ask Barrow, um, so Barrow, when, when you started on this task, which was what, nine months ago when we were in Camborne, yeah. I think you started about nine months ago. So what did you think, like, you know, when you first, when you first got this task to, to do this and what, how, what did you think about? I really liked it because I've been doing similar things for normal Linux distributions before and trying the same thing on Android was a challenge. I hadn't worked with Android code a lot before. So I wasn't really sure what kind of problems I'd run into. Now Barrow, but... <laughs> Barrow tell me the truth, right? Because you didn't say it like that. You're just being polite. Barrow really said, look at all this, man. This isn't meant to compile with 4.5, because I think we were doing 4.5 at that time, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they take the upstreams and da 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 da, so, which are all very, very valid, very valid concerns. But, um, but anyway, we worked through, you worked through those, and I think you had 4.5 compiled Android going after, at, at Camborn, right? Yeah. That was, uh, at, that was one, so at one of our Lenaro Connects, uh, uh, Barrow's job um, uh, was to basically get the Android build into such a state that it can be compiled with with 4.5, um, and now you know we have this new task to get mm. perf to compile. <laughs> so it's Which Monday. It's going to be equally troublesome. <laughs> <laughs> so Barrow, talk about um, if you could talk about how we how you keep. All of the all the all the tool chains. Um, how you keep Android compiling with the tip with the, with uh, four five four six four seven and and the GCC trunk. How do how do you do that? Yeah. So first of all, obviously we need to detect where the problems are. So I've set up a cron job on my box at home that downloads the latest tool chains from every branch we are supporting every night, and automatically tries to rebuild the entire source tree, at least on a couple of boards. Then. If everything's fine, nothing uh, needs to be changed. But if there's a problem, we have to figure out what's going on, the, if we need to fix the code, if we need to submit a bug report to the GCC people, especially on trunk, mostly GCC is breaking. On the other branches, it's mostly Android code that's not ready to be compiled with the newer compilers. But you've put together a bunch of patches that actually allow Android to compile with the later GCC branches. Yeah. And you've pushed a mu many of those up to AOSP. Yes, right. The ones for 4.6 uh, didn't really get in because they f had fixed it by themselves in the internal tree in the meantime. But the ones for 4.7 just got in. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> now say, um, recently you just, you just did a blog post about kind of the full CI. Can you tell me about can you tell me about that blog post and what that was about? Yeah, that was about uh, really having all the compilers uh, built and made available at the same location every night. So other people can start doing what I've been doing for a while, to, uh, just download those new builds and immediately install the new versions and try whatever works with them. Absolutely. <laughs> and so what Barrow's getting at is that most of the time with uh, Android CI loop, you're, you're going to have a pre-compiled GCC toolchain. Right. And you're going to compile that, and you're going to compile Android, and it's, it's going to run. But Lenaro takes it one step further, and we actually compile the toolchain. So it's, as 
as from source as you can get, right? Yes, right. And also, uh, since the toolchain in the official AOSP tree is rather outdated, we often run into problems uh, that, for example, our much newer compiler doesn't work with the prehistoric version of binutils that's in there. So we have to update those as well, keep the, uh, track of all the changes there. Bobero does a fantastic job of that and, and making sure everything runs and, and making sure that people who are interested, AOSP and other people, can, can work with AOSP on, a, on an up-to-date tool chain, which is fantastic. So, so is that a huge job, what you do? What is that? It's like, like uh, how big is a, of a challenge is it? Uh, it depends. Sometimes it's really months of n not really working on a task because everything just ke uh, keeps compiling fine. In those times it's just a matter of making sure we remain updated, making sure we make a release when the toolchain group makes a release. And at other times, especially when there's a major compiler upgrade, everything breaks at the same time and then there's a couple of weeks where I have nothing else to do. <laughs> And one thing we do to mitigate that is we actually track the tip toolchain build half for, for half of the cycle so that all of those things get, can get worked out in that first two weeks. And then hopefully by that two weeks we've actually, things have calmed down enough and we worked with the toolchain group so we can actually, when they release and say this is, this is good, that the Android um, platform can is already is has already been integrated with that with that particular release because we are tracking too. So, so the work that you're doing is that used by everybody that uses Android all over the world, or who, where does it where does it get used? No, it's used by pretty much everyone who tries to compile the narrow Android, unless someone specifically t uh, tells the narrow Android to use the pre-built toolchain from ASP, which we do have the option. Of. So we have um, not only can you compile and. and Barrow's, Barrow's being, uh, being uh, 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 not telling the whole story because Barrow's actually done some great changes so that we can support multiple tool, compiling a Android against multiple tool chains in yeah. the same, in the same uh, and, and that was actually at the last connect something that you worked on which was compiling the sa AOSP with 4.5, 4.6 um, and making changes to make that easy and, 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 and yes, right. easy. So. <laughs> that was mostly a matter of uh, editing make files to detect the right compiler version to see what flag is supported by the compiler currently in use. Right, right. And you had a really kind of a cool, because you, you, you created a little, a little, um, a little, a little, uh, a little function to do that, right? Yes. Which was kind of cool. And I must pass on some of the credit because most of those things are actually found in the kernel tree. I just re-implemented them to get rid of licensing problems and the Android version is actually a lot simpler because we don't have to track on support for kind of, uh, GCC 2 dot whatever or GCC 3 dot whatever. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that was quite cool. I learned a lot from, from Barrow and those, those changes and all the other changes are available you know, in our Android Git and people can take a look and, and take advantage of the latest and greatest uh, GCC. So what do you think about Linaro and Android? Well, Linaro is obviously the, uh, one of the greatest places to work in the world. It's really fun to, uh, to be able to really work on open stuff all the time. And, uh, Android is also a very nice system. There's always some gripes with it. For example, the make file system is a bit obscure and it would be nice if applications could be written in languages other than Java without going through all the hassles. But overall, it's a nice system and the rest of the things can really be fixed. We just need to put some work into that. Do you think there's going to be other languages than Java? I'm not sure where Google is headed with Android, but I'm pretty sure that it's possible to build a version that can support this. And maybe if Google doesn't want to patch it, someone else can use them. And why is uh, Linaro the coolest place to work in the world? Well, it's fun. We do interesting things. We work in the open, so no hiding behind NDAs. And you can be flexible. You can do. Yeah. You can work from wherever you want. Right. That's a good point. Actually, Barrow lives in the most beautiful place in the world, <laughs> and uh, 
and his next door neighbor is is goats. Yeah, and cows. <laughs> is who? And cows. Goats and cows. Where? In the Swiss mountains, really, out in nowhere. Which which mountain? Ah, the Swiss German part. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, somewhere in the area of Lake Wallen, which probably nobody has heard of. It's and you have good enough internet? 50 megabit. Yeah. Switzerland is really great about providing infrastructure in small villages. Really? There's no fast bandwidth in my village. <laughs> okay. You need to move villages. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, Barrow. Thanks, man. Nah. Thanks for Do all your too. hard work. <laughs> and thanks for talking on camera. And we'll, uh, you know, we're going to keep having fun. <laughs> <laughs>